Robo calling Stephen. Master, the venturer calling Stephen Brown. Stephen, you may be able to hear my transmission. I am not receiving from you. I have just detected an alien engine signature somewhere in this solar system. It is similar to that of the Terrigans. Please return to the ship. I told you not to mention her name. It hurts him. I just want to know about her. But it's none of your business. Just leave him alone. I'm not going to sit here and watch you torture him like this. I'm sorry, Lizzie. Curiosity just got the better of me. Yeah, well, just try to control it in future, yeah? Lizzie, Lizzie! What? I saw something. What? Something moves. Something beyond the rock over there. A shadow. For sake, Sarah, do you have to be so noisy in everything you do? But I saw something. I think there's someone else on the moon. You probably saw a solar flare. Nothing more, okay? Come on. Plenty more to see. Let's get going. in that it only has one satellite or moon, as they call it. Earth is on an eternal path, circling with the sun. But we move the moon's pull and the Earth becomes unstable and wobbles uncontrollably. The weather will become uncontrollable and the tides of the seas will stop. Over time, the planet's orbit will change, so that life as it is will cease. Put it on the speakers. Yes? General Burrell, Citizen Neutralia, my fleet is in position as you commanded. We are in stationary orbit around the fourth planet. With their limited technology, I confirm that we will not be detected until it is too late. Very good, General. Be ready to start the strike on my command. Oh. <laughs> Big Bert, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, Lizzie, I'm fine. Hang on, this looks familiar. Oh, goodness sake. I've seen one of these before. It's an explosive. I saw it when we had wars and cr crescent wars on the Daedus. It's very powerful. This? This doesn't look important, this looks look like debris to me. Steve, um, debris from what? <sighs> we haven't littered the earth yet, we haven't littered the space yet. Not in this decade, where'd it come from? Steve, Stephen, Sarah's right. There's something or someone else here with us. Great Scott, of course. Um, I mean, I didn't want to worry you two ladies at all. Um, I knew exactly what was going. All oh, right, I admit I have never clue. I'm ever so sorry, Sarah, for doubting you. Yes, it appears there is someone else here, and it appears to be trouble on a bigger scale than I care to engage. So, with that wanting to be a party of you for Lizzie, I'm sorry for spoiling your birthday. I suggest you go back to the venture and make plans from there. Is that okay with everyone? All right, let's go. Finished here. All the devices are in position. Well done, Citizen H. Return to the dome. Replenish the tanks immediately. No further orders? Negative. It is time the Terrakins reigned once more. You try to order us to return. Make sure you put your equipment back in the cubicles as soon as we get to the base. There'll be more watch see later on at the boundaries. with the Terrakins is Sarah. They've got absolutely no compassion for anyone else whatsoever. They're merciless. 
and the quicker we can back to the Ventura, the quicker we can save possibly the moon, the earth, and more importantly, this waistcoat. So this is a real adventure then? I suppose so, if you want to call it that, then yeah. Right, let's go, quick. This is the next Neutrania. Inform. Three life forms have been sightened, sectors Arno and Rave. Amphibious fire structure. Yes, how many more times do you want to hear it? Right, you two, the venture is just over that hill. It's now or never, chaps. Go! Kill them! Let them be the first to die on the land inside of their precious moon. Understood, Neutralia. We move out. They must be eliminated. Come. Look, Steve. Those terracons have vanished. Oh, they're still just retreated, have they? How, how am I supposed to know? Look, shut up the pair of you. There is a chance that they've gone back to their ship. Yeah, there's a buck here, isn't there? You two get back to the ship, I'll cover you, okay? So what about Just go, all right, go! Wait, then go back to Steve. Don't be stupid, he's old enough to look after himself. We're better off going back to the ship and getting some of those weapons you use. No, look, I've got to go back. He's got me out of enough stakes in the past. Come on. Just in Neutralia, I captured one of the anthropoids. Well, thanks for the warning, Robo. You could have told us that we were sharing our holiday destination with the flipping Terracons. Master, I. Never mind, never mind. Uh, pressurise the airlock and activate the sensory flux chamber. I don't want that hole in the side imploding again. Steve! Oh, shut up, Sarah. And I'll uh, withdraw the landing gear, Robo, and let's go, go, go! Master, Terrican fighter ship's located. Oh, well that's just marvellous. How long to interception? Steve, listen to me. Shut up, Sarah. This isn't the time. We'll have all the time in the world to talk once we've blown to Kingdom Come. Three ships approaching the moon's gravitational pull, Master. Um, launch evasive manoeuvres, Robo. And uh, load firebusters and give Sarah a sedative or twelve. Steve, what are you doing? I'm trying to save our lives, or isn't that obvious enough? Listen to me, they've got Lizzie. What? They've captured her. We'd have to go back for her. One minute to engagement, Master. 